Hey. Where's the thingy? You could tell this was delivered by the mail lady because my mail was wrapped up and she had, she brought it up to this. She brought it up here. Oh, maybe this was delivered also by Amazon Fulfillment. Okay. Now I have the things I need. So my bicycle, bike bits, I had originally bought these fucking things because I thought these were the things I needed. But these weren't the things I needed. Um, these are just fucking extensions for filling up your tires. It's like you can leave that on your tire if you need to like fill it and it's a weird thing. I don't know. But this is actually the thing I needed for my tire. Hold, please. These are, I don't know, my bike has like weird adapter things. So now this is gonna go on here. Now this can fill my thing. This is a smaller thing that you screw on. So now I should be able to use this to fill my bike tires and I can actually ride my bike. Although I'm probably gonna die on the potholes on my driveway, it's insane. Um, garbage here. Perfect. Like a swan. I don't know what this long thing is. Hopefully it's not a sex toy that someone sent me. Or maybe I hope it is a sex toy. Because everyone needs a three foot. Oh. Um. The Versabrella pasta. The th Wait a second. That's bullshit. It was supposed to be 42 by 40 something. 38 by 39 is not the size I was promised. I'll double check the Amazon listing. I'm probably gonna, gonna return it anyway. Unless a different color had a different size. So I bought, I bought an umbrella, but not just any umbrella, a Versa umbrella. Take this off, got a cover here, and it's unlucky to open an umbrella indoors, so let's take a walk. That's a thing, right? Oh, I don't believe in luck though. You make your own luck, but fuck it. Owls. Um, this is a very special umbrella because it's whacked. You see how whacked this is? It's like a weird side umbrella. It, it, did you see it? And look at this. It's a clampy clamp, which I guess you push this, and yeah, that's adjustable with clampy clamp. So you squeezy, squeezy. So this I bought to put on the tractor so that when I'm mowing the lawn, or Brandon's mowing the lawn, whoever's mowing the lawn, I should be able to custom mount this somewhere. Oh, this will bend too. Yeah, you can get this sort of like, like don't burn my, the top of my head while I'm driving, like in the sun. And so I had to get the uh, gray camo. This is a very nice material, by the way. But it's a verse umbrella. So you can like, like you can mount it to the side of your thing and you bend it in all the different cool directions. And I guess it just pops. I wonder if that's going to stay during the bouncing of the tractor. So you can do like that and then, oh God, don't break it. That. And then this will, I like these push buttons to rotate. They feel solid as hell. And then you have a clampy clamp. You clamp that fucker on there and you, boom. And it goes over one side more than the other. Interesting concept. So I guess I should bring that to the garage. I'm probably gonna rip this caution thing over. I wish it was slightly bigger. I wish it was like 50 inches by 40 inches, but it's not, so we'll survive or I'll survive. I can go to the tractor and the Versabrella. I got the thing, so that's garage stuff. Garage, 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 garage. And I guess that's a smart way to do it, but you're, you're kind of stuck there, lady. In case there's something interesting in here. Uh -huh. Clamps onto poles, there's, there's stationary objects. Yeah, 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 on a baby carriage. So, what's huge, purple, made of silicone, and fun to sit on? Do you give up? It's a purple cushion, obviously. What the fuck are you guys thinking about? I don't know. I just ordered this giant silicone purple uh, sitting device. Uh, I actually own one of these and I unboxed it a long time ago. And I bought the royal purple cushion, which is slightly smaller than this one. This one is the double purple. It'd be kind of funny if there was just a dildo in here. Uh, wait, we've got to do that thing where I cut the box up, but that'll happen afterwards. 
So I'm a big fat ass, and um, I I bought the, the smaller cushion, which is actually about this size, and it was it was it's, it's it's so good. I tried putting it on like a hard chair, and it's like all right, that's not bad. Then I put it on my couch. So my motherfucking couch that's already motherfucking soft. I put a motherfucking cushion on it, and now it's like, oh, that's how I have to sit. Because it just does a thing with your ass. It really does. It manipulates your ass so good. Oh, it's nice. It's got a handle. I feel like this is a waste, though. Like, why put this handle on it if you're going to ship it to me on Amazon? So that I could not... Here, hold on. We have to at least... I want to give it its use. Someone engineered and printed this plastic. Dinosaurs died to make this a purple carrot. <sighs> Honey, I'm home, and you throw it in your briefcase, and it's boom, purple pillow. So what do we got? Now we don't need that anymore. I hate waste, and that's wasteful. Actually, everything's wasteful. They want how much, I'm trying to imagine the most efficient way to have the world work. Like, ideally, if you ordered this knife, there'd be no packaging, and there would be no box to ship it, and it would just get brought, handed to someone, and they would, bring it to you. They would take it out of a bag and hand it to you. And there'd be no packaging. This is fucking huge. The one I bought before was 80 bucks. This is 100. And it stinks. Oh, that's the one thing that... When I bought the original one, my original concept was to use it as a pillow to sleep my head on. But the smell... Oh, you could tell it's made of dinosaurs. This one's very light, too. I think the other one might be heavier. And it's got two different size grid patterns. We've got small grid and fat ass grid and there's holes through it right so if i fart it doesn't get trapped in this and conserve my energy um uh, okay okay step one lay the cover down flat with the gripping side down face zipper towards you uncover rounded edges wait there's no rounded edges. what are the where's the rounded if your cushion is rounded, oh, if your cushion is rounded, uh, if your cushion is square, the smaller grid should face up. So they want this in the bottom and then this actually touching your bum. By the way, I, I, I didn't spend $100, I don't know if it's worth it. I absolutely fucking know this is worth it because you put this on a chair that's already fucking comfortable and it's fucking great. So here's the thingy that we have and I'll do this on camera because it's, it's either a nightmare or it's going to go real easy. Let's undo this. Holy Jesus, under penalty of law. Uh, this tag is not to be removed except by the consumer. That's me. I'm the consumer. I consume uh, resources and air and all sorts of things I'm sure people aren't happy about. Both these things get to get, get shredded. So now, there's a grippy side and then there's a nice soft cushy side, which is the side your actual asshole touches. So we need to get this in here. I think it said, I'm going to do this way. It's like putting a taco in your bed sheets. It's, it's not easy. Because it's literally everything is grippy. It so grips. And, oh, my God. Oh, maybe if I stood it up and I'm like, grab, if I grab the back corner and I force my hand there, then I could sort of like squeeze my hand out and then I can grab it through this. See, that's better than the instructions I give. I hate that. And keep it scrippy side up because you need to be able to spin this and manipulate it and rotate. I don't know why they tell you to do it the other way. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Where am I sitting? Here, here's a comfortable, already comfortable chair. But you know what? Bitch can always be more comfortable. Here we go, okay. Give this a sit test. I asked Chewbacca's comb for combing out her, her nits. All right, let's, let's become literally an old man right now. Oh, it's like, I don't know, it's like sitting on, like how does it do this to my butt? Because I was not, I, I was considering a purple bed and then I like got talked out of it because probably had all the breathing things and then it was like, no, that's a fake lawsuit. And I didn't give purple enough of a chance. Buy the cushion. Spend a hundred bucks, just buy the smaller one. There's a back support one. Uh, and you know what I like is the fact that, okay, yeah, it's, it, it's here, but it has a handle and I could then pick this up. You could pick it up, pick it up by both handles if it really felt like it. I, I want to try putting this in my fucking truck, my Tacoma. 
because I had to do a had to do a two hour drive into New York and back out. Not the one that I filmed. This was a separate uh, dentist visit. And I would love to know how this makes my asshole feel. Not my hole itself, but like my ass, my whole ass feel. It's just such a weird experience. Cause like, it just, it's like massaging your, your, your whole gluteus, ma gluteus maximus. So yeah, I do recommend the purple cushion. And I'm probably gonna put this one in the basement. Oh, I tried this on my Aeron chair and it doesn't work. It's too thick. It, it, it's like, a, it's literally a booster seat. It, it squishes down to about half thickness when you roll on it. And with an Aeron chair, like you, the whole point of it is the open air. So I might try it on that section. In fact, let's, I'll end this, this part of the unboxing. Showing you my love throne. And I call it a love throne because it's, I love sitting here. Basically like, uh, uh. Uh, and this goes here. This is why Pasta and I disagree on furniture. Cause like that with the with the with the box, my legs going out, and like the the, the thing here is just like just <clears throat> that'll probably be the most comfortable place I've ever sat to like watch shit. Cause I have to watch my own reviews. You know all these not these unboxings. I don't rewatch these. Those are Pat's Pasta's job. But if I put out a forty minute review, if I put it to one and a half x. That's still a 30 minute review and I probably do like four or five of them. So I got to sit in that fucking seat and watch my own reviews and go, what I tell, what I say? Oh, link that. Okay. I'll link that too. And that's how my links, that's how the links don't even get generated. That's how the words get generated. Then the links come later. So yeah, mm, purple cushion. I think everyone should get at least one purple thing in their life. I haven't tried their pillow yet, but you know what? I'm going to try their pillow.